Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. If you are also having issues while launching PG Admin 4 tools, you have just installed Postgres SQL and PG Admin 4, but you are getting a runtime environment error. So I am going to show you in this video how we can fix this issue. So I will just click on cancel from here and we will need to go to file explorer and from the file explorer go to your system which is called this PC. From this PC you will need to go to again your C drive. From the C drive you need to go to users, you can see the user here. And from the users, you need to go to your name, which is your computer name. So for me, it's this. So once you go inside this, you will see something called app data. So usually this is hidden. So what you need to do if it is hidden. So if you don't see this app data, you just need to go to this view. And from view, you make sure this, this hidden item is enabled. Because if you see hidden item is disabled, you don't see this app data folder. Okay. So we need to say hidden enable. Now you see, we can see the hidden file as well. So we can see app data. So I'll click on the app data and from the app data we need to go to this roaming okay once you go inside the roaming and you see there is a two options one is called pg admin and one is called pg admin 4 so we need to just delete this okay so just right click and delete it okay once you delete it you see this the the location that is this pc then c drive then users and then your name then app data then roaming okay from there we have deleted it next second step what you need to do is that you need to go to recycle bin and right click and clear the bin okay so you see everything is done everything is clear now we will be able to launch pg admin 4 so for that just go here search for pg admin 4 don't just click okay you need to make sure that you are launching as a administrator so right click and you will see run as a administrator so it is going to launch this time so it's asking for a warning say yes and uh, let's wait while it launched this time it's going to launch successfully Okay, now you can see that it has launched successfully. So to verify it, you can just clear, clear all this and tab. Okay, and uh, we can just clear this as well. Now, if you just click here, servers, and it's asking for the password for the user, which is called Postgres. So you can enter your password, the password you have created. So click on save. So this is the password at the time of installing. It, it has asked for the prompt, right? What is your password for the Postgres user? So that password you need to use it, not the system password. So click open. Now we can see we have successfully connected to Postgres SQL 17, which is the server, right? Now from the second time, you will not have to go through this delete things. It is automatically going to launch. So we can just check, we can just cancel it. And we would say, yes, we want to quit. So now right, PG admin 4, you can just click on it. It's going to launch super fast, okay? So as soon as you use few times, it's going to launch uh, really fast without any issues, okay? So let's see. Now you can see my application has launched successfully without going through any steps, okay? Alright, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a good day.